डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस डिस्कस एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर 12 फ्रॉम सी प्रोग्रामिंग लैबोरेटरी द एम ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज डेवलप ए डेवलप ए प्रोग्राम टू फाइंड द स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ ए गिवन नंबर n एंड एग्जीक्यूट फॉर ऑल पॉसिबल इनपुट्स विद अप्रोप्रिएट मैसेजेस सो व्हाट इज द एम हियर यू हैव टू डेवलप ए प्रोग्राम टू फाइंड the square root of a given number n and execute for all possible inputs with appropriate messages so after this again in bracket we have a note that we should not use any inbuilt library functions because uh, while discussing uh, the program to find the square root of a uh, the roots of a quadratic equation so there we have used uh, an inbuilt library function sqrt to find the square root of a given number yeah but here you have to write a program to find the square root of a given number n without using that library function because if you use that library function it is very simple without using that sqrt function you have to write a program here to find the square root of a given number n so already you might be aware of what exactly this square root is so let us uh, brief this so we know that in mathematics a square root of a number x is a number y such that y square is equal to x means uh, if you want to find the square root of a number x so the number uh, the square root of the number x is y such that if you square that value you will get the same number so that's what in other words in number y which square is x only okay so we have taken some examples here that we know that square root of 4 is equal to 2 why because if you multiply 2 uh, if you take the square of 2 that is 2 into 2 you will get the same number that is 4 similarly square root of 9 is equal to 3 because if you take the square of the 3 3 into 3 it is 9 again same So square root of 25 is equal to 5. Why? Because if you take the square of 5, that is 5 into 5 is 25, and so on. So in this way, uh, you can find the square root of a given number x. Or uh, as per the problem definition, you have to write a program to find the square root of a given number n. So now let us see how to write a program for this. So uh, this is the program uh, to find the square root of a given number. so if you see this is a very simple and a very small program so we saw the aim of this experiment uh, so aim is you have to develop a program to find the square root of a given number n and execute for all possible inputs with with appropriate messages the note is don't use library function sqrt of n so let us see how to find the square root so you might be knowing that there are many methods to find the square root of a given number n and of which here we have used a very simple method that if you want to find the square root of a given number n if you find the value of n to the power half that is the value of n to the power 0.5 that equals the square root of a given number n so that's what here okay so that's what here so to find the square root of a given number n like if you want to find the square root of uh, 4 so what you have to do is you have to take the value raised to 0.5 so if you find the value in this way so that itself is a square root so that's what here so 4 raised to 0.5 is equal to 2 so this is nothing but the square root value remember this Okay, so this method we use in our program. Okay, so square root of four. Writing square root of four is similar to writing four raised to point five. See here, square root of four is nothing but four raised to point five. Its value is two here. Understood? The same thing is true for the rest of the values also. Okay, so without wasting much of the time. so we will directly see the program now so see here uh, the program is like this so first we have to include the 
header file has include stdio.h because we will be using the printf and scanf statements in our program. So after this we have to include one more header file that is hash include math.h because we will be using some mathematical functions in our program. So to be specific we are using the mathematical function pow this is used to find the power of a particular number. So here we have to find n raised to 0 0.5. So that's why we have to write we have to use power function here. Okay. So after this we have the main function that is wide main and after this here we take one variable uh, that is n to hold the value of a number whose square root is to be calculated or found. Okay. So int n. So after that once you calculate the square root. So to store that we take one more variable of type float that is sq. Why we take float here? Because the calculated value may have uh, the decimal part also. So because if you take instead of float if you take the integer variable so the decimal part will be truncated so that's why to maintain to retain the accuracy of the result we take the sq of type float so after this we will display this message on the screen that is printf enter the number so once this message is displayed on the screen so uh, a particular uh, the user is going to enter the number whose square root is to be found so already we have declared a variable for that it is n so that's why whatever the number the user enters so we have to read that in the variable n so for that we have scan f percentage d and percent n so once we read the value or the number into the variable n so now you can find the square root by using this formula so it is very simple so it is sq equal to power of n comma 0.5 so that's what here we saw that if you want to find the square root of 4 you can find the value of square root of 4 as 4 raised to 0 0.5 so to write 4 raised to 5, 0 0.5 in C we have this uh, mathematical function that is POW that stands for power so its syntax is so it takes two arguments the first argument is the base number and second is the uh, the upper value that is suffix okay so here n raised to 0 0.5 if you want to have the value n raised to 0 0.5 you have to write pow of n comma 0.5 so here whatever the value of n that the user have entered so it will find the value of n raised to 0 0.5 and that calculated value will be stored in the variable sq so as a result the calculated sq value that is square root value is present in the variable sq here so after this you have to simply display the value of calculated square root so for that we have this printf so the printf is printf the square root of percentage d is percentage f so this percentage d is replaced with n and this percentage f is replaced with this s2 because whenever we, uh, the user want to find the square root of 4 i would like to display the message as square root of 4 is equal to 2 square root of 9 is equal to 3 and so on so that's why i display the value of n also and the value of the square root also here so in this way uh, you can write a simple program to find the square root of a given number n without using the inbuilt library function sqrt of n hope all of you understood this program so now let us run this particular program because as per the problem statement you have to develop a program to find the square root of a given number n and you have to execute for all possible inputs with appropriate messages so let us run this program for two three times so first we have to compile this and after that i will run this program so as we saw in the program so first it will display this message that is enter the number so you have to enter the number here so what number shall i enter so let us start with nine so if i enter nine what is the square root of nine do you remember the square root of 9 is 3 okay so let us see what it displays see the answer is the square root of 9 is equal to is 3.000 understood okay similarly let us run this once again so we'll take some other type of number where we get the square root in terms of the decimal point also like if i get if i enter the value as 10 okay what is the value of uh, square root of 10 
So we know that square root of 9 is 3 means the square root of 10 will be 3 point something. Okay, so that is what here. So the square root of 10 is 3.16278. So that's what because of this only we have taken the value of SQ as the type of SQ variable as float. Because here you here only you just see if you have taken this the type of SQ has integer. So what will be the value? So the square root of 10 is 3 because this decimal part will be truncated. So for 9 also it will display the result as the square root value as 3. For 10 also it will display as 3. For 11 also it will display as 3 which is not correct. So that's why we have to take the type of SQ as float so that the decimal uh, part will also be considered. So hope all of you understood this program but still if you have any confusion or any doubts or if you have not understood any uh, part of this particular program so please feel free to discuss with me. Thank you.